morning everyone so here i am at the mural today I got rained out for two days so i got to stay at home for a little while and uh clean and decide on some things so uh what i got going on well not too much more than what i had going on before still working on the mural uh today i'm putting in the last little bits and uh, the houses hopefully i'll get everything done i'm gonna start try to stay all day long if it does not rain so far on this side of the world it doesn't look too bad but i'm kind of dubious on that side of the world so here i am in front of the guy So we're going to talk about, so we're going to just talk about what I got going on. So right here is the car. Uh, I want to do something like what I did for Abercrombian Fence. Uh, do kind of like a, a thing. No, I do not paint cars. Unless you want your car ghetto like this. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of is it's going to be ghetto. It's going to be professionally done. I just want to do it because it's my car and I can mess with it if I want to. So, what do I have going on today? So, uh, nothing really. Just putting in the highlights, the lowlights. Putting in all the little details of such grass, leaves, shadows. That's water rippling. Well, let's go to it. Since we're going to be messing with it, let's just go to it. So I'm putting in this stuff. I'm putting in it. I know it looks like dots and dashes, but from far away, it actually looks good. It looks like water and, and rippling and reflections and plants are growing and the trees have reflections that you can see all the bushes and the stuff from the sunset. So that's what I'm putting in. So it's all these dots and dots and dashes. So this is what it looks like up close. It's just a bunch of dots and dashes that I'm putting in to make it look like grass and dust and birds and stuff. So I'm just putting in the little little detaily things. Uh, I think I painted these too fast. I sometimes I paint too fast, or it's late in the evening and I'm tired, but. I got my my dragonfly. It's hitting in there. I might put in a couple of other dragonflies. Uh, but just to make it look like it's water. And it's the reflection of the sky. In the water. Is what makes it kind of. A difficult thing to do. And so I'm putting in my ducks today. And that's on this side. So. As you come down it. And you come to the big cedar tree. This big tree is going to have details, bark, and such. Now, the green spaces here will have buildings. And then more stuff down here. Not too much. A boat. A dock. Different little stuff. So, yeah, that's the, that's the mural up close. I have my birds. Don't worry about that piece of grass. I know it looks terrible, but it's going to be better once I paint it. It's just a placeholder. So I wanted to talk really about how I paint. Because I don't think people realize why I don't need an image to paint. And even if I do have an image, I don't need an image to paint. You just tell me what you want. It's so much better to just tell me what you want and then I come out and paint it. And I, and I know it sounds, it sounds odd because that's a, a strange process for some people to understand that I don't need an image to paint. So I'm going to post the original image in the comments of this, what they want it. And then I'm going to put a picture of what I'm painting so that you can see 
it's like it but it's not like it it's my own little stuff and the image that i made is actually the the first image that i gave them to look at is something that i actually made i use my little my terrible computer skills that i no longer have to create the image as opposed to what i actually paint because I'm getting something from one of my other murals where I give them pictures and they think that that's how it's going to look on the wall. And it's not. It's going to look completely different. How it's going to look different, I don't know. It's going to be different. Is it going to be better? Yeah, I'm hoping that I make a better image than what I actually come up with in the first place. But people are taking it kind of literal like oh it's got three fingers i want him to have five fingers well you know what it, it'll have five fingers when i paint it on the wall well could you move this over and slide that down yes i can when i paint it on the wall i'm not going to make a whole image a whole another computer image for that i can do it on the wall you just tell me what you want and i paint it and so i don't think people realize that's my process they they're so used to other muralists who take a projector and and draw something and they project it onto a wall and then not that there's anything wrong with that that you know I've done it I projected stuff on the wall and then paint it and it looks exactly like the image that they got and posted the image that was painted and there's people that do that and God bless them I'm not one of those people and so my art murals are what I actually physically feel needs to be. The wall will tell you what it wants. Is that is that a good way to say it? So I don't need an image. You tell me the thing, I hodgepodge it together and I put it on the wall and it comes out like this. Because I don't know. I don't know how it's going to turn out. All I can tell you is there won't be nothing more, nothing less than what's needed. And so I hope that I hope it clears up because I'm I'm I don't know. I, I think I'm getting irritated and I shouldn't get irritated about it because I can't make people understand the way that I paint is completely different from the way that everyone else paints. I I don't need an image. You just you just give me a list. You wanna Dave Matthews? What did I do that time for for my friend? Uh, Dave Matthews swimming in the ocean with sharks. If that's what you want, I got you. I paint Dave Matthews swimming in the ocean with sharks. If that's what you want. It'd be something out of my brain. You'll love it. But people want literally what they see on a wall. And you can do that with logos. And you can do that with, you know set things I am not that person and I don't know what to tell tell anyone when they ask me to change something on something that I drew, sketched up it's just a sketch it's just a sketch it's just placeholder uh yeah because I well I had that with the with the last mural where uh I had people helping me and normally I don't put anything down first. I, well, I stopped doing that because you have to go over those lines and sometimes it takes a while to get rid of the lines of what you've done to try to paint over it. So it, it takes up a lot of time and it takes up a lot of uh, paint. And so I don't do it anymore. So what I do is I look a freehand on the wall. I don't grid really hardly anymore. I don't even do my my doodle thing anymore I just freehand paint what needs to go on to the wall if I need trees I throw a bunch of trees on it's not gonna be the exact bunch of trees in the exact space and place as the trees of the sketch that I gave you it's just not because that's not how I paint I know what I need to do I just throw it on the wall sometimes it, it gets close to it <laughs> it gets close to it but usually it, it does not and but it'll still be the image that I gave you. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just... I'm bitching. I'm sorry. I'm griping. Because it, it irritates me. 
and I don't know how to fix it. I don't know how to say, hey, I'm an artist. I paint. Give me your list of stuff, and I'll paint it. Well, what if it's not what you want? Then you tell me it's not what you want or the colors that you want, and then I can change it on the wall. Don't make me draw it all over again. I don't want to draw it all. I get anxiety when I sit at a computer because I don't like to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, put this stuff on, cover my hair, wash my face, run out of the house, drive an hour, two hours to where I got to be at, paint all day long. It feels nice now, but it's been hot. Sometimes it'll get, and it's going to get colder. So now I'll have one extreme to the other. Paint all day long for 9, 10, 12 hours. Drive two hours back home. Take a shower. Try to eat something because I haven't eaten all day. And then sit at a computer for five more hours. And I just don't have time for that. Because that's how long it takes to fix something like that. If, if you are asking me to adjust something on an image. Just tell me what you don't like. And I will paint it on the wall the way it's, you want it to be. I don't, I don't have to make a whole new thing. I don't want to make a whole new thing. Stop making me want to make a whole new thing. I don't want to. And that's just me. That's my rant. I try to make it simple. I hope I make it simple. I hope I clear something up. I don't know. I may have pissed everybody off. I don't know. Because I, I'm trying to express that I don't need an image. And that you just tell me what you want and I do it. And I and or if I do give an image that I just express what it is. And I do it. And it it doesn't the sketch is not what's going to be literally inch by inch, centimeter by centimeter, color by color, what's going to be on the wall. Because you can't do that. There's people that do that. I don't. I can't do that. I don't do that. Because the way that I paint is organic. Oh, I like that. The way that I paint is organic. I paint organically. So, there's a tree on the wall. There's trees you're gonna look at the original image of this and realize that these trees are different from the trees on the image. Because I painted the trees that look good on this wall that I felt like painting because I don't paint centimeter by centimeter. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to go crazy. I'm sorry, I'm ranting. Okay, so that's what this is about. Uh, and, I, and I'm sorry if I upset anyone that wants something completely inch by inch the same. Then I may not be the person for you. But I tell you this, you won't be unsatisfied by what I do. And I tell you something else. It's better for you just to go paint what you want. To me because I'm so much better when people let me paint what I want and whatever thing that you need so it's getting noisy I gotta get back to the wall it's starting to cloud up I'm starting to get worried about this thing because it's taking longer than what I wanted it to and so I'm gonna hurry up and finish so I love you guys you know me to do your mural. I promise you, you'll love it. And I'll talk to you guys later.